after hearing the soundtrack to this, it's been on my list for a while. Plus, it also says it's going to change up the typical Super Mario World experience. I was wondering what it would be like. Yeah. SNN was working with Four Sword 4 on another ROM hack. There wasn't just Catastrophe, the one we all know. This is a lesser known one, particularly because it was only submitted as a C3 demo. It was never finished also, and after 2010, it was pretty much removed from the site. It was made to be this one-time thing. So since then, it's pretty much disappeared. Though I managed to get the hack in my possession. Again, I had to go looking for it. But I found it. The hack pretty much stopped mid-2010 when Four Sword 4 faced some real-life issues from what I heard. I don't remember the details, but I get that that's about all I remember. I am a logo! Whoa, did you just hear that evil laugh? So yeah, SNN wrote another soundtrack, not just the one to keep catastrophe, so... I can guarantee it's gonna be amazing in the music department already. <laughs> press start. <laughs> well, I press C. New game or continue? Let's try and continue. Loading. Oh, we <laughs> just get this screen again. So if you press continue, but there's nothing to continue from. Hello there, Mario. For 25 years, you have avoided entering my domain. You cheated death with the use of puny green mushrooms, but this will happen no longer. Welcome to my domain of death. Your lives mean nothing here. <laughs> this looks different already. Okay, I got I got three hearts. That's probably how many hits I can take. Let's get hit by this. It looks like a wolf head. Okay, let's take a hit. I lose one heart. So up there in the top left corner is my health. That purple orb might be a soul or something. And I'm supposed to collect a certain amount. <laughs> And the level's name is up there in the top left corner, too. So, I think. <laughs> okay, so far it feels a bit different. Only well, got a weird graphic style. But it's interesting, I guess. Some of the palettes are strange. Like, this is definitely not something you see in terms of graphics every day. I'm not so sure what the goal of this is, I just got dropped in- I just got a short intro message and then I was dropped into the level. Do I have to collect a certain amount of these? Do I have to go searching the whole level for what might be souls or... I don't even know what those purple orbs are called, but I have to go searching the level for them anyway? Do I have to collect a certain amount? I didn't get anything from this. I've just been given this generic intro message about how your life ends here and means nothing and then I got dropped into this level. Great way to introduce your game. But then again, I think it might be simple enough for me to find out on my own anyway. Let's just pick up as many as we can, because I don't know the point of this yet. Okay, we gotta get to those two orbs somehow, but. Oh, sh I don't even know if I can shell shell bit. Only if I was really... Ah, okay, I gotta be more careful. Oh, there's a springboard! And I was gonna try shell jump it. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it the easy way. Wait, do you have to jump up to that ledge? What if you just hit your head on and fall down anyway? Okay, there's really not much to say about this level yet. There's really not too much special to this level. We got weird graphics. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do, but we got an interesting music track going on in the background. I'm gonna take this warp pipe. End up here. Misery Fields. Is this the same level or a different one? <laughs> Kill the wolf head. It was getting annoying anyway. Now, I don't know where to jump to. If, like, if there's a ledge down here, if I'm just gonna fall to my death. Oh, there's a ledge. Still not sure what's going on. Is this just an endless... Is this maybe like some sort of exploration style hack in which the whole game is just like this big world you can just explore, like try and find your way through and get all these souls? I'm still not sure what they're called. It, 
tell us what these were called. I wonder if this could be one sort of Metroidvania or something. Where you just have to explore the whole game finding things. As opposed to it being separate, straightforward levels. If there would be like some sort of map to this game, is this how it would work? Back at the first stop. No, let's go up here. I only have three hearts to do this on. I haven't, I haven't found a, I haven't found a power up yet. And again, it's really not that hard to take. It's really not that hard to dodge these enemies. I think some of the times I did take hits were like for stupid reasons. Well, stupid reasons like me being stupid. Where did I just go? Okay, I just went up in the sky and now I'm in the dreamscape. Alright, so is this an endless exploration concept? I hardly know what's going on. Okay, that just... That was cool. Found an extra heart. I don't know how to replenish the other ones though, but... I ended up finding that. Okay, so this block will give you all your health back. Okay, you can go back. I'm not so sure how this works, if there are any checkpoints or anything. Are there any checkpoints or anything of the sort? Or would this just be something you have to do in one run? Or is there something I'm completely missing here, with hidden save points throughout the game? springboard again. Gonna get a few more of these purple things that I still don't know what they're called. If the, point the, if, the, if the point of the game is to actually get as many of these as possible, I think you'd want to know the names of them. Town of the Soulless. Oh, wow. Welcome to our village. Enjoy your stay, but be careful. Souls here like to rip each other apart. Chill, it's normal. <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna get killed right away. Oh, you can go in this house. Wanna bring... Wanna be awesome and bring me some wolf skulls to eat? I love five skulls from the misery field. Thanks so much, friend to be. Misery field, we've been there. So how are we supposed to collect wolf skulls? You know what, let's try that. Okay, so this is the place. How do I pick up the wolf skulls? Do I have to kill five of these and somehow the game will just know somehow that I have them in inventory? What's going on? Okay, there's death. I was just checking. What if you hit continue? Does the continue function not work or something? Maybe we'll get farther in the game and see. Maybe we didn't get far enough in the game to hit a save point yet. How's this whole wolf skull thing work? I killed every wolf. Well, do I need an- Is there maybe an item in later in the game that will actually let me collect these wolf skulls? What's going on? Okay, I killed everything in this room. Does it mean I've technically gotten the wolf skulls and picked them up? How would I know you can pick up- pick them up at all? Okay, do I have them or not? I don't know how to pick them up! <laughs> Your game has been saved. Simply choose the continue option from the- Oh, there we go! So this is how it works. We have save blocks. Uh, actually, it actually kind of looks like one in Paper Mario. 
Yeah, just somewhat, except it's a lot duller. I'm like to go with the hack style. It's a lot darker. And desaturated. You know Paul, he was a great guy, a lot of fun to be around. We used to go to the bar. A lot too. Until I ate him. If he was a fun guy, why did you eat him? <laughs> now we got some cannibals here. Hey you, I have the super craving for some meat from the corrupt caves below the town. If you bring me some, I'll be your best friend. I don't think I want to be friends with people like that. Like, if they eat each other, then... <laughs> what are the chances that, like, a few months later, Mario's just gonna get eaten by his so-called best friend? I swear that I saw a golden two-tailed fox run by here earlier. Everyone says I'm crazy, but they just say that, but I just say that I'm hungry. What, Tails from Sonic was running around here? Are these people insane? Who are you and why should I? Maybe if you could prove your coolness, I'll give you something shiny? There's a way to actually do all this stuff? Oh, Elder. Greetings, stranger. You're looking awfully fleshy today, aren't you? Only some of us are savages. I was thinking of telling you something along the lines of you're the one the prophecy spoke of. Wait, what? Is this guy gonna clear up what's going on in this ROM hack? But you've probably heard that one before, eh? This village could really use your help regardless. I can tell you're fresh fleshy, you're still new to the afterlife. Oh, so Mario is technically dead, but he's not dead. So this is the afterlife. What's with that shock look? You didn't realize that you were dead? Well, you are. <laughs> On the right side, though, this land is pretty gigantic, so there are plenty of areas you can entertain yourself in. So maybe death isn't that bad? Why don't you go explore the ancient pyramid and hang with the mummies? Or chill with the natives down at the iceberg? I'm not the one who brought you here. Although I can tell you quite a bit about the afterlife and be willing to help me in return. Relentless creature in the ruined temple below this village. Animals which took shelter have fled the east and west. No one returned. Only one returned. He gave me a panicked look and without saying a word fled the village. Don't know what kind of creature we're dealing with here, but this village cannot fall. Thanks to Lord Death. Lord Death! We've <laughs> given a second chance in the afterlife. His act of kindness towards us would have been for naught if we perish. I may give you a full fleshy one. Enter the cave through. Yeah. Through one of the houses in the village. Enter the cave. Find this creature, kill it, and help these people out. <laughs> I'm guessing this house might be the one. And someone wants me to find their husband, too. Wait, the guy left? <laughs> okay, he just went somewhere else. Now's the time to shine. Go out there and show. You're the green torpedo or something? Was well, it Luigi? Also, that guy knows about Luigi. The souls up here make the general population of the afterlife. The majority of souls don't make it past the first stop. Oh, really? Is it really that deadly? This hell's land is expansive. So what, I could be doing this forever? This road leads to the Pox outskirts. You have to do a bit more searching if you wish to move on. Castlevania or something? Or maybe it's like Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest, in ways. In which there are like towns, we got all these locations. It might be like Simon's Quest in a way. Exploration more than just linear strategy. This might be like what Simon's Quest is to Castlevania. This might be the Super Mario World what Simon's Quest was to Castlevania at this point. But I'm definitely gonna want to give it a shot. Now, how are we gonna find our way into that cave? Wait, did I check this warp pipe before? This strange pipe is sealed by a strong force. You'll have to find someone who is able to break the seal on it for you. Maybe that's the pipe we need to get into. Except we can't. I just hope this game won't be as cryptic as Simon's Quest was. find someone who can break the seal for us. What, so we're gonna have to go looking to the right of the town for somebody? Well, let's just go exploring. So I have already made it farther than most people would ever make it in this game. Well, according to the game, that's how it happened. Most people didn't even make it past the first stop, or to the town in that case. 